Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. The purpose of this report is to examine if taxpayers' dollars were spent wisely on the construction and maintenance of roundabouts in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. On June 25, 2010, the City of Oshkosh completed its first of 16 roundabouts with the hopes of reducing fatal crashes, pedestrian injury, and increasing traffic flow. Studies have shown that when roundabouts are used properly, they can reduce fatal crashes by up to 90%, injury by 76%, and pedestrian crashes by 30 to 40%. Throughout this report, I'll be discussing studies of roundabouts throughout the United States. The specific design of roundabouts have reduced fatal car crashes and incidents vastly since 2010. Within the first two weeks of roundabouts being constructed, open at Witzel and Washburn, and Kohler and Witzel, there were only 11 minor crashes. By comparison, 49 crashes at Kohler and 24 crashes at Washburn in 2009, one year prior to roundabouts being constructed. The design of roundabouts reduces the speed and lessens the angle of impact, eliminating some of the most common type of crashes, which are right angle left turn type crashes and head on collisions. After analyzing the studies done throughout the United States and Trevor reports from the city of Oshkosh, I have determined that taxpayers' dollars were wisely spent on the construction of roundabouts in Oshkosh. For the last 25 years, other countries have utilized roundabouts to reduce vehicle accidents, pedestrian injuries, and regulate traffic flow. However, it wasn't until the 1990s when the United States began to develop roundabouts all over the country. It is estimated, according to the Federal Highway Administration, that 150 to 200 roundabouts are going to be added each year throughout the United States. The city of Oshkosh has implemented 16 roundabouts. These locations were determined to be some of the most dangerous intersections in Oshkosh, with high traffic volumes or high accident rates. In 2009, these intersections included 1,190 accidents, which involved 826 incidents of property damage and 364 personal injuries. The four major intersections in Oshkosh that were selected for roundabouts include Algoma and Fernow, Jackson and Murdoch, Kohler and Witzel, and Washburn and Witzel. Construction of the first roundabout completed on June 25, 2010, and the last roundabout was finished in fall 2012. Several features of roundabouts promote safety. At traditional intersections with stop and go lights and traffic signals, the most deadly type of crashes are head-on collisions, right angle, left turn type of collisions, and rear end collisions. These types of crashes can be severe because vehicles may be traveling through the intersections at a high rate of speed while colliding directly. With roundabouts, these types of potentially serious collisions are essentially eliminated because the vehicles are traveling at low speeds in the same direction. Installing roundabouts in place of traffic signals can reduce the likelihood of rear-end crashes and their severity by removing the incentive for drivers to speed up as they approach green lights and reducing the abrupt stops as they approach red lights. The vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle conflicts that occur in roundabouts generally involve vehicles merging into the circular roadway, with both vehicles traveling at low speeds and collisions resulting in a glancing type of impact. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, roundabouts do eliminate three of the most common harmful types of accidents. In a survey of 20 Oshkosh residents to determine how they felt about driving through roundabouts, the, a small majority felt unsafe. This negative sentiment felt by the residents is in direct contrast to the data that shows roundabouts are far safer than traditional intersections. In an interview with resident Natasha Stiver of the town of Algoma, she stated, I do not feel safe in the roundabout because no one ever yields and they are always supposed to be in such a hurry. I am terrified of getting hit whenever I enter. Natasha is a frequent traveler of the Amaro Road roundabout structure. This driver anxiety may be caused by the initial adjustment to driving habits. The first roundabout in Oshkosh is only a mere two and a half years old. Studies show once drivers become accustomed to roundabouts, the safety dramatically increases. Most of the cost of construction fall under the umbrella of the $535 million U.S. 41 project 
and the remainder is funded by the City of Oshkosh. Roundabouts can cost approximately $1.5 million each, such as the Jackson and Murdoch intersection. Others can be part of bigger projects to contribute to a $3.5 million bill such as the U.S. Highway 41, U.S. Highway 45 interchange. Prior to roundabout construction, Oshkosh saw countless accidents at troubled intersections, along with extensive property damage and injuries such as collisions resulting in 18 fatalities from 1999 to 2009. Accident rates spiked in the months immediately following roundabout construction. This rise in accidents was anticipated by the city of Oshkosh as drivers become more familiar with the roundabouts and changing their driving habits. Let's discuss moving through a roundabout and the way to properly navigate it. When a vehicle first enters the roundabout, the first thing to consider is which lane to choose. Signage will be available before you enter the roundabout to help you with this decision. Then slow down and yield before the crosswalk while looking for any pedestrians. If all is clear, proceed into the roundabout when there is an open break in traffic. Continue to go around until the appropriate exit is reached. Lastly, always stay in the first lane chosen and do not change lanes while in the roundabout. One important factor to remember when operating a vehicle through a roundabout is to obey any speed limit signs, for it will determine how severe an accident may be. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation has a great interactive website to help you learn the proper way to navigate through a roundabout. The signs and arrows show that the right lane is the correct lane for a right turn. Avoid driving next to large trucks when approaching and within a roundabout. Yield to pedestrians on the crosswalk as you enter. Yield to all traffic in all lanes of the roundabout. Do not enter beside a driver already in the roundabout. Stay in the outer lane. Signal right. Yield to pedestrians on the crosswalk as you exit. The signs and arrows show that the left lane is the correct lane for a left turn. Avoid driving next to large trucks when approaching and within a roundabout. Yield to pedestrians on the crosswalk as you enter. Yield to all traffic in all lanes of the roundabout. Do not enter beside a driver already in the roundabout. Stay in your lane. As you approach the third exit, signal right. Yield to pedestrians on the crosswalk as you exit. After taking into consideration feedback from the residents, it is apparent that over time drivers will be, has become more familiar with roundabouts, they will be more comfortable with them, and safety will improve. Along with statistical data that shows significant accident reduction, decreased severity in injuries and property damage and accidents that do occur in roundabouts, there have been no fatal crashes recorded. The roundabouts should continue to be maintained for they provide a vital part of safety for Oshkosh residents. Some recommendations that should be considered to improve roundabouts are increase public awareness on how to navigate roundabouts through town meetings and frequent newspaper articles. Rid the public of any falsehood stating that roundabouts are not safe by releasing ads in the newspapers and statistical data that shows the dramatic decrease in fatal crashes and severe pedestrian injuries. Station police officers at roundabouts to determine the most common mistakes in causing minor accidents. Educate the public on those mistakes to avoid future accidents. Thank you for being present for my recommendation report. I hope you enjoyed it and have a safe driving experience in the city of Oshkosh. Thank you.